The New York Islanders have announced that they've signed goalie prospect Tristan Lennox to a three-year entry-level contract. So what do you need to know about him? Let's just get the basics out of the way. He's a third round draft pick from 2021. He's 6'3", is 200 pounds, and plays for the Saginaw Spirit of the OHL. That's the basics out of the way. When it comes to style, I think that Tristan Lennox blends a little bit of both. When I look at goalies, I kind of define them into two categories. And I know that's a little, maybe a little bit too narrow, but that's kind of how I look at it. Um, it's shot blocker and an athletic type. A shot blocker is just someone who's so big that his body just allows him to just stand in the way of pucks. And I know that sounds simplistic, but usually these are positionally sound goalies who are like 6'4 and above, right? Whose strength is, I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right position because my body is so big that I should be able to get in the way of just about any shot, right? And at 6'3", I wouldn't say he's a shot blocker per se, but he's got the frame to kind of fill that role. Think of guys like Henrik Tikkin in the Islander system and even Robin Leonard, right? Robin Leonard's strength wasn't his post-to-post -post play per se. It was getting in the way of shots. Um, so just being positionally sound, which was perfect for the Islanders. Um, and then you have your athletic types who are guys that can move laterally just incredibly quick and make these saves that they shouldn't be able to make. And Tristan Lennox has a little bit of that. He's had way too much practice in Saginaw because he's exposed consistently by some poor defending. And you can see his lateral play or his ability to make a save that he shouldn't otherwise be able to make because of his athleticism. So he's got a little bit of both. When you look at his numbers, though, the numbers don't scream incredible goalie. Let me just bring up the page here. Um, so when you look at his numbers at the OHL level, he's got a 363, basically above three goals per game at the OHL level, which is kind of okay. It's it's as it stands today, his goals against average in the OHL is I'm just going to get it there. 17th is 17th at a 3.28. Not, again, something to write home about, but still decently good. Uh, when it comes to save percentage, it's below 900 at the OHL level, 876, 888, 880 this year, which is, I believe, 30th in the league. And, of course, there are some goalies in there who have less than 10 games played. But as you can see, like, I got to scroll down pretty far to find him. So there you go, 30th for uh, goal save percentage in the OHL this year. But the thing is that, as I said earlier, Saginaw leaves him exposed a lot. When you look at the number of shots he's faced just this year, you see that he's in the top 20. Where is he? The 13th overall with 1,042 shots and 40 games played. So Tristan Lennox is being peppered with shots constantly, which kind of leads to some lower than average numbers because like, well, he's just being asked to do a whole lot. And you can't ask a goalie to do that all the time. He's just not going to bail you out that often, no matter how good he is. But with Tristan Lennox, you got a guy who maybe needs a little bit of work on his technique. And the Islanders can certainly help him with that. And just not being as exposed as he is currently with Saginaw, which again, the Islanders can definitely help him with that. Uh, so you got the foundations for a good goalie here. But as we all know, when it comes to evaluating goalies, they're absolutely voodoo. Anything can happen. Um, but right now, it looks like there's something decent there with Tristan Lennox. If you even just look at HockeyProspecting.com, they give him a 25% chance of becoming an NHLer, which is decent enough specifically when it comes to goalies. So that's Tristan Lennox in a nutshell. The Islanders signed their prospect to a three-year entry-level contract today. Uh, so congrats to him. That's got to feel really, really good for him and his family. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.